Okay, happy Thanksgiving, guys. It is Thanksgiving morning, and I am about to make, well, what my family has always called cabbage, but it's not cabbage at all, so I have no idea what they name, why they named it cabbage. And my mom and my grandpa are no longer here with us, so I can't ask them. But in a traditional family way, I am going to just continue to call it cabbage. And all it is, is broccoli and cauliflower. And it's another, again, very simple dish that my Welsh family made and had and served at every holiday. Um, this is a very simple, it just has salt and pepper. That's, that's it. Um, and butter. And my family uh, used to eat it with, um, a side of mint sauce. I don't do that. I just like it the way it is, but um, you could definitely serve it with mint sauce if you wanted to do it the Welsh way. So, frozen broccoli and cauliflower in a big pot. Um, I'm making four bags just so that I have enough for Thanksgiving and for leftovers. And then we're going to go ahead and add just a bit of water to this. I'm going to go ahead and wait. We're going to add about two cups or so of water and we are just going to might add just a little bit more water. I don't want to add too much. But we want this to kind of cook up, boil up, and um, yeah, I'll bring you back when uh, this thing starts okay. cooking. Okay, so just to show you, um, I've been cooking this on high, well, medium high, with a lid on so it could steam down, and as you can see, if I can get it not to fog up on you, I have still some water in here. Now all I'm going to do is let this cook down and let the water reduce. Uh, this is all nice and uh, cooked. And it's okay if it mushes because we're going to mush it anyway with a potato masher um, as we go here. So as it cooks down it will mush and we kind of just want to get rid of now any of this extra liquid here. So we're just going to keep cooking this on. Uh, medium high till this water cooks out of it. Okay, just to show you really quick where we are headed. You see it's starting to really break down now, which is exactly what you want. And um, once we get this water boiled out of here, um, that's when we'll mash it and season it and then just to show you what i got over here i've got i'm gonna set this on a high this is how i do mashed potatoes in the crock these are golden um yukon of potatoes that i cubed in one inch cubes i buttered my the side of my crock in the bottom of my crock with a couple tablespoons of butter and then i went ahead and i just threw in all my potato chunks and then I added about a cup and a half of half and half, uh, added four tablespoons of butter, added um, probably uh, maybe two tablespoons of uh, minced garlic, parsley, salt and pepper, and on with the lid it goes. And then once we, once these are all cooked and I mash them up, I will add some uh, cream cheese and some sour cream to this. A little extra um, milk or butter if it needs it but uh, that's it on high plugged in to my power strip over there I've got apple crisp over here it's like a apple brown Betty what do you want and then there's my homemade pumpkin pie those aren't getting refrigerated I've got a chocolate pudding pie and uh, a pumpkin roll in the refrigerator she wants something. It is early still here at the House of Khan on Thanksgiving morning. The parade just started, so she wants something. I gotta go find out what.
just to show you this, you guys, is a very sweet honey butter roll. And <clears throat> it's gonna add just a little bit of sweetness to our Thanksgiving. And I'm spraying it with coconut oil. That's the oil I'm using for these. All right, back at the cabbage here. And you can see that the water, you can see that is all but gone now. So now is the time I'm going to shut this off and now I'm just going to mash it. And this is one of my favorite. I love broccoli and cauliflower anyway. You guys know that because I'm always buying that California blend. <laughs> but this is absolutely one of my favorite side dishes. Now, uh, the, the um, mushy peas that I showed you guys um, yesterday, I'll leave a link up above if you've missed that video. Mushy peas and cabbage. Uh, are great for babies. So babies can eat at the kitchen table and it's the consistency of kind of like baby food. Um, but this is something that everyone can enjoy. Even the little ones, which is why I always loved it too. All right, so once we get that all mashed up, I'm gonna show you, there we have it. So now what we're gonna do, again, this is just a really simple dish. Not a lot of seasoning, a little bit of sea salt, and then we're gonna add a little bit of pepper. And then, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to drop Pats of butter in here. And that is about two tablespoons total. in YouTube land. Hey everybody in YouTube land. <laughs> and hi Kendra who's in Ohio. Yeah, who's <laughs> having Thanksgiving with her parents but maybe one day when they're married she'll be here making making cabbage with her mama, her new mama. All right so happy Thanksgiving Kendra. <laughs> All right so there we have it. So that was about four tablespoons of butter total. And that's usually what I use. It's a nice, rich veggie side dish there. So, let me show you the consistency of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna taste a little bit, make sure it doesn't need any more salt or pepper. Mm. Add a bit more salt. And I'm gonna add just a tad bit more pepper here. And 
not much because you want it to be simple, just enhanced a little bit. consistency you want. So this is going to go in my triple crock and it's just going to sit on warm until dinner. And there you have it guys. This is <laughs> cabbage. Again, don't know why they call it that and why my family called it that. Um, but we served it just like with the mushy peas at every um, family dinner any holiday or any big family dinner when my grandma would make family dinner and we'd all go over there for dinner this is what she would make so i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you give it a try if you guys like uh, broccoli and cauliflower you will love this the butter the salt the pepper it's just uh it's so rich and it's just so delicious and like i said you can feed this to littles and they can eat it with no problem. And sorry, I had my fan on. I know many people complain when I have my hood fan on. <sighs> but it's steamy up in here, and I gotta suck up the steam. <laughs> All right, guys, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're having an excellent one. I'm gonna go smooch on my baby now, um, Luke, and, uh, and I'll be seeing you guys later. All right, bye, guys.